St. Mary's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has joined a network of elite agriculture dealers and put together a package of farm and ranch management tools on the hood of every new Ram truck sold. This exclusive St. Mary's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Ag Pack offers a bundle of farm management tools worth thousands of dollars with every new Ram truck sold. Call us today or visit us on the web at St. Mary's Chrysler Dodge Jeep dot com. A strong community contains a lot of moving parts, good jobs, a healthy economy, and maybe most importantly, pride. At Poet, we are proud to be doing our part, creating new local jobs and spurring economic development while producing products that improve lives around the globe. Together, we're not just working to serve our community, but to change the world. And that's something we can all be proud of. See the world differently with Poet. Attention farmers, you don't want to miss the Allen Davis Insurance Agency's annual free risk management seminars. Join us for any one of our three seminars with presentations regarding crop insurance, whole farm revenue protection, farm program updates, and more. Food, great speakers, and information you can't afford to miss. Call today, 419-738-7447, or check us out on the web at allendavisinsurance.com. They say good news spreads fast, and for a Meyer manure spreader, it spreads even too. Spread fast, even, and accurate with a new Meyer manure spreader from your local Apple Farm Service. Experience the famous and unique rear discharge system on the VMAX series, the V4 series, the Industrial SXI series, the Crop Max series, the poultry litter spreaders, and the truck mount spreaders. Spread the good news. Ask your local Apple Farm Service to learn more. Hello once again, everybody. We're visiting right now with Todd Connor with Farmer's Edge. Farmer's Edge, Todd, what, what does that mean? Can you tell us how it all began? Sure, yeah. Farmer's Edge started in 2005 out of Winnipeg, Canada. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Wade Barnes. Uh, he was an agronomist. He was working for a local co-op and started uh, doing some variable rate technology on fertilizer. Um, so with that variable rate technology, the fertilizer plant soon realized a couple years into it, they were selling less fer fertilizer than what they were before. So of course the co-op asked Wade, hey, please stop. We need to sell tons of fertilizer. Uh, so a few of the, the customers that Wade was dealing with um, said, hey, we love what you're doing. We want this variable rate technology. It's making us more productive. If you go out on your own, we'll support you. So in 2005, they started with 40,000 paid acres, and then now today it's 33 million paid acres uh, worldwide. Worldwide now, how many countries is that, does yeah, that so, include? Yeah, we're in South America, we're in Australia, uh, we're in the Soviet Union, and uh, we've just migrated from Winnipeg, Canada, into the, the U.S. So we're three years into the U.S. And, and expanding our wings and growing. Okay, now today we're at Apple Farm Service, but all dealers are and can be included. So we have a uh, exclusive partnership, a strategic partnership with CNH. Uh, that partnership was done in November of last year, and now it's being introduced to the the Case IH and New Holland dealers. So any CH or CNH dealer uh, has the ability to sign up as a, a dealer for us. And of course, that information is key that would want to make any farmer be included, but it's something a little bit special with this kind of data. Yeah, so with our data, uh, we truly believe that the farmer owns his data. He's in complete control of it. Um, when when the farmer's data is uh, uploaded to the cloud, he has a total say of who sees that data. He can share it with his trusted agronomist. Uh, he can share it with uh, somebody like Apple Farm Service, a CNH dealer, to see his equipment piece. Um, and he can also limit how much they see. So if he just wants his agronomist to see his agronomy portion and that's it, uh, he's got total control of that. Uh, we're a privately held company. We're, we're made up of farmers and, uh, and of agronomists. 
uh, that that solely fully believe that that data is uh, the farmer's data. Our competition, on the other hand, um, is quite the opposite. When you sign an agreement with them, uh, they you sign an agreement saying they own that data and they can sell it to third parties and they can do whatever they want with that information. So uh, that's what makes us unique and that's what makes our partnership with CNH work so well. CNH has the same philosophy as we do on the farmer owning his data. Okay, now we've talked a, a few words that any farmer will understand. Now we have uh, several viewers that uh, haven't grown up on the farm and are maybe uh, a generation or two removed from being on the farm. Mm -hmm. Can you explain a little bit about some of this precision agriculture? Sure, what we're doing? Yeah, so our, our uh, precision software is really one of five things. Uh, so the first thing that we offer in every one of our packages is satellite imagery. Uh, satellite imagery has really become a commodity. A lot of people are offering it. It's just a standard red, yellow, green, NDVI image that you can look at your crop health that you get maybe every 10 to 15 days. Uh, if there's a cloudy day, now your information is out 30 days. Um, you know, really can't do much with that data as far as being proactive and be able to react to it. Where we're different and we're unique is we've got an exclusive partnership with Planet Labs. So we've got 200 satellites that are taking a picture of planet Earth, uh, every farm, every field, every day. So we're getting an image of that field every day and then we're also, our resolution is higher on it as well. Uh, most resolutions, 30, maybe 60 meters. Uh, we've got an exclusive partnership where our resolution is three meters. So with that resolution, um, our resolution is fine enough to where we can start to detect cutworm at V2. We can start to see if there's population uh, emergence issues. Um, so that's what's going to make us different. So the data is it's much more accurate. It, it definitely is. So it's more accurate. Uh, the frequency is more. What we're able to do with that imagery then is we're able to compare today's map to yesterday's map to a week ago to two weeks ago. And we have artificial intelligence built into the program. So the farmer doesn't have to sit there and look at a hundred, if he's got a hundred fields, look at a hundred maps of every field every day. He, after he gets off the tractor at night, he doesn't want to sit in front of the computer. Uh, our artificial intelligence, our program is going to do that and then notify him of, hey, out of your hundred fields, these are the five fields you need to look at, that there's a crop health change, and these are specific areas you should look at. And then, of course, year after year, that data from last year and the year before, a team with the present year's data would make what you're finding even more valuable to that farmer. That's correct, because we can backdate the imagery in all his fields back by 10 years. Uh, the other thing that we're doing as well, um, we can take data that he already has, uh, whether he's got as-applied planting maps, whether he's got herbicide maps or uh, harvest maps, and we can also ingest those into the system as well. So all of his data can live in one spot. Okay, now again, we're Farmers can find this at, in their locale? Um, yeah, so um, they can go to their local CNH dealer. Um, any dealer that is an authorized rep for us uh, can sell this product, and you can find out information there, or you can go directly to our website as well. Okay. Now, Todd, I'm sure that uh, you're a busy guy these days as, as you're going around and just explaining everything and, and with the new partnership. It's mm -hmm. got to be exciting for you at the same time. You can't be at all places at all times. So the local dealers, is that the place to go for more that, info? That definitely is. That's the place to go. Go to your local dealer and you can get the information there. All of our dealers that are set up will have uh, literature and brochures and they're going to be versed well enough to, to give you some information on this. And if we need to get deeper into it. They can call someone like myself. I have business account managers that are also able to go out to the farm as well. And everybody these days has a website. Absolutely. <laughs> and what would that be? Uh, www.farmersedge.ca. Very good. We've been visiting with Todd Connor. Todd, thanks for being with us today. Right. Thank you. When it comes to manure, Coon Knight isn't afraid to say they've handled all kinds for over 60 years. Whether it's dry, wet, slurry, or pin pack, Coon Knight has the right spreaders to handle your material. Choose between the rear discharge system with capacities of 165 to 1,230 cubic feet. Or pick the side discharge system with 1,000 to 5,000 gallons of capacity. Ask your local Apple Farm Service to learn more about the lineup of Coon Knight manure spreaders. 
Midway Trailer Sales, and Rodock Leasing and Sales are Ohio's only authorized Tempty Hopper dealers. Tempty's value comes from a tradition of quality, which is also found here at Midway and Rodock. Remember, when you need to haul, give Midway a call. SNS Volvo is your locally owned heavy duty truck dealership in the area with a full line of Volvo and Isuzu trucks. We offer Volvo, Isuzu, Cummings, and GM parts and service weekdays until midnight until 4.30 p.m. on Saturdays. We also have leasing and rental options to meet your needs. We have the expertise to get and keep you on the road. Stop by at 2600 St. John's Road or visit us at ssvolvo.com to see our wide selection of new and used truck inventory. Our farm department is committed to providing ag professionals the products, coverages, and peace of mind needed to run a successful operation. With our home office located in the heart of farm country, many of us have first-hand experience when it comes to farming, and we know how to take out the risk. Under one policy, we can provide total protection of your investment from your home and barns to your equipment and livestock. Come join us and experience the Salina difference. Welcome back to an Ohio Country Today. We're here at Salina's first annual Ag Tech Forum. And, you know, one of the speakers tonight is Brad Fruth with Beck Seeds. And Brad, you know, before we really get into talking about what you're going to talk about, give us a little background on yourself and, you know, how you kind of landed where you're at. Sure. So I've been uh, very blessed to be a part of the Bex Hybrids organization now for 16 years. Uh, originally started in the organization doing a lot of IT work and working on the I IT operations side. Um, and now have uh, also do that as well as with all this precision ag that's obviously changed a lot in the last five to six years. So help out a lot with our digital strategy and what are the um, uh, technologies and tools that we're implementing both on our own farm and that we're offering available to our uh, customers. So I enjoy doing that during the day. I also reside on our family farm um, in Indiana and southern Miami County. Uh, we row crop and raise hogs. So. Well, you know, so you're, you're well suited for what you're doing there at Back Seeds. So, you know, you mentioned technology and, and it's more than just deciding which hybrid you're going to plant or which variety you're going to plant or, or, or that kind of thing. So it's, it's a lot more deeper than that, isn't it? Sure. Yeah. So a lot of the technology um, and what we look at Bex Hybrids is how can we make farmers sick, sick seed. So one of the things that we really focus on is there's a lot of noise out there. Uh, there's a lot of neat gadgets and things you can spend all your money really, really fast. But what are those technologies that actually bring re real value to the uh, farm? And so that's what we're focused on at Bex Hybrids. So I'm going to talk about our approach to ag technology, um, how it's really people based um, and how we can create collisions with our employees. Uh, and then we're also going to talk about some of the things that we have in our pipeline. Uh, we have a practical farm research side to our business, so that allows us to, to validate all of the ag tech before it hits a customer farm. So we're going to talk about some really cool technologies that we have in our pipeline, what our approach to the market is. And then also as a seed company, we're an ag company, but keep in mind we're also a supply chain company. We have all this seed that we have to process and grow and get out to our farmers. So we're going to talk about some innovative technologies that we're also doing doing in our seed production uh, places and, and how we're trying to innovate in that space on how we bring seed through our pipeline and get it to our dealer and ultimately get it to our customer in the most cost-effective manner. So first, there's two things here we want to talk about. First thing is the technology. So I'm always intrigued by that, you know, because, you know, it's, it's, it's more than just what, you know, whatever you can get on your phone from Twitter or something, right? It's, it's, Tell us a little bit about, when you talk about technology from Beck's standpoint, what kind of technology are you providing to the producer? Yeah, that's an excellent question. So we actually have a precision farm management platform, and it's called Farm Server, and that's how we bring all this information together and bring it actually to the farmer. So one of the things I'm going to talk about is um, every ag tech company hopefully realizes they can't do everything for everybody, and you need to focus on what you're good at and partner with those to fill in those other gaps. So when we look at sensors, uh, you know, drones, and, and imagery, we're going to partner with companies, and we're going to share a couple of those here. Um, it seems like everybody now nowadays has a soil sensor or a weather station. So how do you choose out of 20 the best one for your farm? So we pilot a lot of that in our practical farm research, find out which ones actually work, and then which one's going to put money in your pocket. At the end of the day, you can have a soil sensor, but if you don't do anything with that data and it's not valuable to you, then you've just wasted all of your money. So we try to funnel that pipeline down and again, bring value actually to the, uh, to the farm. Uh, 
a lot of us kind of like to talk about weather data, you know, and, and so does it make sense for an ag company to be in the weather space when you can get the weather free on your phone from a thousand different places, but what you really want is you want weather and rainfall data mixed with your equipment data, your drone data to make decisions, and so that's what you've got to be focused on is that value and what's the actual product that can be used on the, on the farm. Yeah, you know, because many times when somebody thinks of technology, they're thinking about, oh, my GPS, and it steers my tractor, and it creates a yield map for me. Sure, yeah, and, and that's definitely part of it, but then what happens at the end of the year when you're trying to take your tractor data and make uh, choices on which were my most uh, productive fields was the hybrid uh, choices that I made true, um, what was the weather con conditions, and really ultimately you should be boiling it down to here's the variables I can control and here's the ones that I can't, and how am I going to get better next next year? Um, you know, I've, I've heard it often that a farmer really only has 40 crops that he'll grow in a lifetime, so how are you going to innovate in only 40 crops that you're going to put out? And it's going to be wrangling all of this data, and our job at Bex Hybrids is how do we help you wrangle this data and get to actionable insights. You know, so that takes me to the to the other thing that I wanted to kind of just talk about. You talked about uh, the seed, the seed production and some of the innovation that's going on there because it's more than just than this, than, than just growing that, that crop, you know, detasseling that and, you know, pollinating that corn and, you know, growing those that that segregated seed for seed. You know, there's there's a lot more coming up in the back end for this, right? Yeah, so do you want a job detasseling corn? Is that what I hear? Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Well, yeah, there, there is, is technology right now involved in all parts of our pipeline. So when you look at from the breeding effort, you know, a lot of stuff going on in marker labs. Uh, CRISPR is a new technology coming on uh, line now. You look at that from our breeding, our selection, our production, processing. Um, that's where I think it's awesome to be in agriculture. Um, you know, there's a lot of consolidation, so the number of companies growing seed corn right now is dwindling, but that's our opportunity to apply technology at the right time to become more efficient, um, and that's an, an opportunity for us to gain a, a competitive advantage. Well, Brad, you know, there's a lot of information that we've only just really just, we've o opened the page, right, and opened the book. So if somebody wanted to find out more information, where could they go? Yeah, so definitely our website, bexhybrids.com. Uh, I mentioned our practical farm research. We're actually getting ready to release that data. Uh, there's more data than you can shake a stick at there, uh, but we would be more than happy to engage with whoever would like to have a, a conversation. Well, Brad, thanks for being with us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Our farm department is committed to providing ag professionals the products, coverages, and peace of mind needed to run a successful operation. With our home office located in the heart of farm country, many of us have first-hand experience when it comes to farming, and we know how to take out the risk. Under one policy, we can provide total protection of your investment, from your home and barns to your equipment and livestock. Come join us and experience the Salina difference. I'm Terry McClure, a fifth generation soybean farmer. Farming can be tough, but we have the Ohio Soybean Council investing farmers' dollars to find new uses for soybeans. Their research helps develop better beans for livestock, poultry, and for people. It also helps create new products like soy-based cleaning supplies and ink cartridges, plus cleaner burning soy biodiesel. Soybeans are Ohio's number one agricultural export. To learn more, visit SoyOhio.org. Closed captioning paid for in part by the following. Are you looking to buy or sell farmland? Then work with a company that works for you. Ron Spencer Real Estate. Founded in 1975, Ron Spencer specializes in farmland, agricultural, and commercial real estate. Check them out on the web with three locations to serve you. Ron Spencer Real Estate at rsre.com. That's rsre.com. Hello once again, everybody. At the Ohio Farm Bureau Federation's annual meeting, we are visiting right now with Neil Weber, Neil Farms in Franklin County, uh, near Hilliard, uh, actually. And I would imagine, Neil, that uh, closer to the city like that, it's not always an easy easy thing to do to uh, do what you need to do on the farm. Um, it is difficult every year, Gary. Uh, more and more urban sprawls coming out and finding us. We didn't find them. So uh, what we're dealing with is just some logistics issues, transportation issues, roads that are being built that are difficult for our uh, for our equipment to encompass, and you know just just overall just you know making our jobs a little bit more difficult. 
I like to call those challenges. And, and I, I'm sure that uh, the weather this year has been a major player with farmers all over the state of Ohio. How have you fared? Well, about the same as everyone else. Uh, you know, the weather is once again something that we can't determine. Uh, it's it's a it's a rolling of the dice every day, and so um, we just do the best we can with what we have. Um, you know, we had some wet uh, weather earlier that everyone remembers, and then if everyone also remembers, there around the summertime it got really dry. So it was uh, the opposite scenario of what we wanted as farmers. Uh, you know, when you, when you don't mow your grass for a month and a half, well. The corn and the beans and the crops don't grow either, and that's exactly the time it needs it the most. So it was a challenging year to say the least. And then what about uh, the environment? Uh, you're always working with uh, the challenges there, and, and actually the people that say they are concerned about the environment, but always they, they might not always look at what's best for the farmer and the environment together. Right. Well, I mean, you know, an environment, I, I think of things like water quality. And, and, and in Franklin County, it's unlike, you know, it's it's just like anywhere other county. It just, just has more people. Uh, you know, we have the same we have the same water issues that they have anywhere else. Um, you know, I think in Franklin County, there's a lot of different people and politics that play a part in how our, our waterways are navigated and, and cleaned and, and uh, making things... I guess easier for the farmer is once again more of a challenge. We like to see water off of our fields in, in times like it was back in uh, April and May and June when it was really wet. But because of some of the politics that are here in, in Columbus and in Franklin County, it's very difficult for, those, uh, for that to happen. You know, I've always been impressed with what farmers do in educating those people that might not have ever grown up on a farm or been, been or had grandpas and grandmas that had the farm and have never visited a farm as much. You do an awful lot in educating. Over the years, you've been involved with taking uh, uh, different programs to COSI here in, in Columbus, and I know that has helped educate a lot of non-farm people. Thanks for mentioning that, Gary. I almost forgot. Uh, you know, one week during the month of August, we uh, we bring usually about a million and a half to two million dollars worth of uh, farm equipment and a lot of knowledge to COSI. Um, and uh, what a great a venue to have a place to educate not only the young but the old as well. It's really worked out and Franklin County needs a lot of education. A lot of folks have been raised in, well, in the opposite place that I was raised. You know, I was raised in a, in a I was born in a barn, gosh. <laughs> and a lot of people, uh, you know, were, were far from that. So it takes it takes someone and it takes a group like Farm Bureau to, to make that connection and, and segue into different groups and, and educate people about what people like I do. And you're educating people and letting them know that food doesn't come from the grocery store. No, you know, your Fritos just don't pop out of aisle nine, Gary, you know, and people need to understand that there's, you know, there's, there's 500 farmers here uh, uh, in Columbus to discuss policy that work hard every day to make sure that, uh, that we stay, uh, we stay, uh, we get our bellies stay full and uh, we, we are productive and uh, we have the energy to, to do what we need to do. And I guess a uh, topic that is also on your mind this past year, uh, whenever we have uh, issues at the national level involving trade, it uh, can have an impact on the farm community. It has dramatically here in the last couple of years. Um, you know, I, I think every farmer, though, is most of us understand the situation at hand. Uh, you know, it really affects our bottom dollar. Um, and, you know, with costs continuing to rise, just like any other business, agriculture is no different, uh, you know, whether it be rent or inputs or equipment or, or what have you, you know, any other business, you know, it might be a delivery business or something, you know, they have to buy equipment, they have labor costs, they have insurance costs, agriculture is the same. And, um, you know, looking at something like, you know, just uh, our commodities just are not worth what they were, you know, five to seven years ago. And and uh, it's, it's frustrating, but I think it'll come around. It always will. It always has been. Neil, I consider you uh, an educator, and you like to educate people about what's happening on the farm. If people watching would like to get in touch with you or find out a little bit more about not only your operation, but about Ohio agriculture, what's the best way for them to 
to do that? Well, if uh, I mean, you know, I'm on Facebook and a couple other social media sites uh, under Weber Farms or Neil Weber, N-E-A-L-L, one B. Uh, you know, I like to talk to people um, about what we do, and and I. And it's difficult for a lot of farmers. We're quiet people generally. We don't talk a whole lot. Um, but being from, you know, where I'm from, you really have no choice but to communicate. Neil Weber has been our guest, one of the truly good guys, uh, <laughs> whether you're talking about agriculture or anything. Neil, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Gary. Appreciate the time. Midway Trailer Sales and Rodock Leasing and Sales are Ohio's only authorized Tempty Hopper dealers. Tempty's value comes from a tradition of quality, which is also found here at Midway and Rodock. Remember, when you need to haul, give Midway a call. It's just a few steps for tradition, for innovation. A few steps so we can all stay connected and live better lives. And just a few steps for all the Touchstone Energy Cooperative members who got us here. Learn more about the power of your co-op membership. St. Mary's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has joined a network of elite agriculture dealers and put together a package of farm and ranch management tools on the hood of every new Ram truck sold. This exclusive St. Mary's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Ag Pack offers a bundle of farm management tools worth thousands of dollars with every new Ram truck sold. Call us today or visit us on the web at St. Mary's Chrysler Dodge Jeep.com. United Equity Inc. is your locally owned farm based cooperative. For agronomic services, we offer seed and a full line of dry and liquid fertilizer, as well as soil sampling by soil type, grid, or management zone to best utilize your fertilizer application. Call us to discuss agronomic services customized for you. Reach your best yields with United Equity, serving Allen, Augleys, Mercer, Putnam, and Van Wert counties. Visit us on the web at unitedequityinc.com. Hey, that's going to do it for this week's edition of In Ohio Country Today. As always, you're going to check us out on YouTube. We have a Facebook account and, of course, our website at inohiocountry.com. Have a good day, everybody.